Vietnam has demanded that China immediately withdraw from the disputed waters, but neither side at this moment appears to be backing down. Let's bring in our David McKenzie. He's been watching all of this from our Beijing bureau and joins us now live. David, as we watch this, it seems that despite the human toll that China is suffering here, you know, some of its nationals critically injured, um, they still appear to be digging in. Why is that? Well, that's right. Both sides are digging in, as you say, Errol, and it shows that this is a crucially important geopolitical and potentially financial issue for both countries. With evacuating 3,000 people, as you say, as state media is uh, putting it, uh, several of them critical injured uh, that came earlier, the China is at least taking the threat against its citizens very uh, carefully. But they are saying they're going to continue drilling in the Paracel Islands. That's a disputed territory in the South China Sea area that is claimed, of course, by Vietnam and China. And so it shows that the leadership here is taking a strong stance in this and uh, isn't going to be uh, threatened from their perspective by these protests. But it does appear that the Vietnamese government was blindsided by the scale and the violence of these protests. So on that side, at least, it appears they are pulling back. Errol? Yeah, because we saw that the Vietnamese government actually allowed these anti-Chinese protests to take place, which was rare in and of itself. It wasn't until these protests became violent, they tried to get a handle on it and things um, became worse. So in a way, the Vietnamese government appeared to get more than they bargained for. Where then does the dispute go from here? Well, I think you're right on that fact. Uh, you know, one interesting detail, the Prime Minister of Vietnam sent out a text message, uh, a message, in fact, several messages to its citizens to say, don't protest, this is illegal, you'll be rounded up. Uh, it appears they want to also show that they're serious about prosecuting those who uh, had these violent protests. Somewhat ironic, of course, given the fact uh, that Protest is technically illegal in Vietnam, so they would have, at the very least, needed tacit approval from the government to carry out these uh, protests against Chinese and other nationalities installations. But the government in Vietnam is in a tough spot now, Errol, because they obviously depend heavily on foreign investment, including Chinese. And so with China pulling out so many of its workers and citizens, uh, that is going to be a big deal. China has already suspended certain bilateral ties, uh, according to state media. And we just got word that a, a charter company is stopping from flying its planes into Vietnam. So the economic pressure in general would hurt Vietnam a lot more than it would hurt China. Uh, so the leverage might be in China's favor at this point if both sides dig in their heels on the Paris, Paracel Island issue. Mm, very difficult time for the Vietnamese government and the Chinese government as well. Our David McKenzie there live in Beijing. Thank you.